hands, how many people here have heard the term wingman? Right? Guys go out and they bring along other guy friends to help them. You know, they sidekick it up while they try and pick up women. Um, well, there is a new trend hitting the dating scene, and more and more men are ditching their buddies and going out with wing women to help them get dates with other women. Even Adam Sandler uses Jennifer Aniston as his very own wing woman in their new movie, Just Go With It. Uh, actually, it's not too far from reality, and if you don't have a wing woman in your life, you can even hire one. Uh, watch. Hi! Hello. I'm Kim. I'm a hugger. No, they're not on a first date. In fact, he actually rented her for the night. But it's not what you're thinking. She's a wing woman, and she's trying to help guys get a few new phone numbers. Believe it or not, renting a wing woman is as easy as ordering a pizza. A wing woman. Shane speaking. How can I help you? We're a company that helps men meet other women by using a wing woman. When a client goes out with a wing woman, the typical night is basically they always meet in public places. The client picks out what girls he wants to talk to, and it's up to the wing woman to use her skills to go introduce him to the girls he's picked out. And then she'll introduce you to her. And guess what? You've met that girl now without having to hit on her. And that's just what our guy Alan had in mind. So how are you doing? A little nervous. Yeah? yeah. Why? Uh, I've never had a wing woman before, for one. It's, it's a piece of cake. No? Honestly, it'll no. be so natural, you won't even know I'm there. My first impression of Kim is that she's very, very good looking. When I'm out with you, just please note that I am just a wing woman. I am not your date. Don't get too close to me. Well, you know how girls are. If you're seeing air girls, she's like, well, they're together. Absolutely. So what I pretty much do is I'm just going to go up to random girls, depending, like, if you like a other girl or not. I'll, like, you, I'll let you pick. Okay. And I'll just kind of walk up to her, start talking, and then I'll have you come over. I'll introduce you. It'll be very easy. Um, and then once you guys start having a good conversation, I'll kind of, like, split off. And then I'll come back. Just to okay. see how you're doing. And if you do anything, I'm right here to fix you. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I'm gonna put you to the test then. Couple tips. Don't come on too strong. Basic conversations. When I tell you to come in, come in. If I kind of look at you, stay away. All right, so how do you feel? A little good? bit nervous. Just remember, follow my lead. Come in when I tell you, it'll be a success. Okay, great. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. When I started the night, I was a little apprehensive. Uh, I didn't want to look stupid. What are you staring at? What? You can't stare at people. That's creepy. It's weird. You I didn't even realize that. that I did it. I didn't want to get embarrassed. So anybody you think's cute? Sitting down, table behind you. Okay, stay here. I'm gonna go talk to her. Hi, girls. How are you? I'm here with one of my really good friends. Here, come here. Hi. Hi. My name is Alon. I'm Ashley. Ashley, very nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She um, went to school in the city as well. I think the women around me reacted very positively uh, when they saw Kim. You know what? Let's just get new drinks so they're cold. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. My, my, ice, my mountain is no longer blue. And my ice is melting. Ladies? Okay, cheers. Cheers. Good. All right, I'm going to squeeze that. You guys seem good, okay? okay? Sorry, excuse me. I'd love to be able to talk to you, get together sometime, maybe. Would you uh, want to exchange phone numbers? Sure, why not? Alon sure. did a lot of things right, but in the beginning, he listened to me. In the beginning, I told him certain things to say, to back off, not be so aggressive, and he did it. Kim really kind of made the whole process real smooth. And uh, by the end of the night, I'm sitting here, I'm very excited. I got one phone number. All right, cool. He has some stuff to learn still. But I think eventually, hopefully, he'll get it. <laughs> Overall, though, tonight, I think was a success. So you had fun? Yeah, I really did. Yeah? Fun. You met a couple girls. I did? You're good. I'm ready to take over New York City. Uh -oh. <laughs> In the light of day, was it cool using a wing woman? Did you like it? And I want to know, if this works out and you end up dating somebody, like, long term, do you have to fess up and tell them? I did like it. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. And uh, I suppose that after I do meet somebody and, and it ends up working out, 
I probably would have to come clean. You gotta come clean, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Kimberly, what's the difference? Can you break it down for us? What's the difference between a guy using a wing man and what a wing woman could bring to the situation that a wing man can't? Well, a wing woman's better. Girls relate to girls. You can go out with a bunch of your girlfriends, and it's just more comfortable. If you see, a, like, a pack of guys in the corner, and they kind of look at you, you're like, oh, good God, here we go, and they're going to hit on you. You get, a, you get your guard up. Yeah, you sort of feel like prey. Exactly. Yeah. So if a girl's there, it's more comfortable. You bring them in, and then you honestly believe girls. If there's a good guy friend, you bring them over. It just it makes more comfortable. Yeah, even if you just met a woman, if she came over and said, you know, that handsome guy over there, he really thinks you're so cute. He'd Come love to talk to you. Completely. There's something warm and kind of like nice about that yeah. as opposed to a guy going over and saying, hey, what do you think of my buddy? Oh, 100%. <laughs> uh, I see. Yes. When you really think about it, it's a big, big difference.